the February 2022 Rust update brought with it a new hazmat skin called the Arctic Suit. Its most notable difference is that it's the first skin that actually changes stats. One stat specifically created a lot of controversy. It grants 33% cold protection instead of the standard 8% of a normal hazmat. For forest and desert dwellers, this change is relatively meaningless. However, for living in the snow biome, this could be significant. So I took it into the snow at nighttime to see just how different it could be at its most extreme. When completely naked, the cold dealt 1 damage every 3 seconds. The regular hazmat brought this to 1 damage every 4 seconds. The arctic suit brought this to 1 damage every 150 seconds. This effectively eliminates the concern of cold damage in the snow. You can't even get wet in hazmat so you'll never get colder than this. Over the course of a night, this skin mitigates nearly 200 damage that would otherwise need to be mitigated by food, bandages, standing by a fire, using a heater, or switching clothing. That being said, switching clothing isn't hard. There are cheap sets with more cold protection, reasonable sets with more cold protection and more projectile protection, and of course this still doesn't stand up at all to endgame snow gear. So while the arctic skin represents a huge advantage in the snow over regular hazmat at night, it seems less critical when considering the alternatives in addition to the likelihood of actually fighting outside of your base at night. However, the hazmat is so widely used in part because of its convenience as a single slot gear set, so I would generally expect a team living in the snow to reap benefits purely related to this convenience. In total, you'd spend at least some fewer resources on mitigating cold damage. You'd also be able to re-kit faster than a jacket kit and warmer than a regular hazmat. And I'd also expect you to spend less storage space holding warm clothing even if it's just stuff to be worn around the base. In reality, these benefits are marginal at best, and are unlikely to change many outcomes of combat even in the snow. However, they are still noticeable, and they expand further than many, if not all, other pieces of paid content in the game. In the end, it seems neither negligible nor game-breaking, but let me know how you feel about it in the comments. That's my summary, and thank you for listening.